The fourth round of the FA Cup kicks off this weekend and boy does it start in some style. Arsenal taking on at Manchester United. Other ties of note, it's City against Burnley on the Saturday and then Sunday. Crystal Palace, Spurs and Chelsea where of course Gonzalo Higuain can make his debut against Sheffield Wednesday. Let's focus, shall we, on the big game at the Emirates on Friday. Arsenal taking on at Manchester United. There's been a lot of talk of late about how the romance and the glory of the FA Cup has disappeared. But this is one of those games that you can genuinely get excited about because both teams have got a lot to gain if they win it, Steve. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I mean, particularly Solskjaer. He's a guy that said when he came to United that he wants to be the old United. And the old United regardless of competition, wanted to win. Yep. So I don't think there's any way, shadow or doubt, that he doesn't put his first team out. And as for Arsenal, I think in I am, he's a little bit the same. He's a competitor, he wants to win. And I think he'll put a, a, uh, his first team out as well. So that means that this should be an open attacking game because both sides are better going forward than they are defensively. I don't, I don't think there's any doubt that Solskjaer's going to play that open attacking football the, the, the way that we've seen over the last seven or eight games. Well, from an Arsenal viewpoint, the way that Unai Emery set up against Chelsea was exciting. For yeah. once, he picked the right, right team. Aubameyang and Lacazette through the middle. Ramsey pushing on, on Jorginho. You know, the three protectors in front. Terreira in the position where he should be. You know, it looked as though it was a, you know, a fairly solid team. Going forward, it was electric. Yeah. So when you factor in that, that United could have conceded a lot of goals when De Gea was, was absolutely incredible in that, in that previous game, th this could be a, a, a five apiece, a 5-4. I mean, you know, with the attacking prowess of both sides. And we know that both teams are defensively wanting a little bit. But I, I'm with Steve. I think this could be an absolute belter. One of the big talking points going into mm. this game is Alexis Sanchez. Obviously uh -huh. up against his old team. Solskjaer suggested that he's going to feature in this match. It's a real litmus test as to where he is, isn't he? And all of this soap opera that has surrounded him since that move from Arsenal to United, what, a year ago? Uh, it's also a test as to the magic of Solskjaer. Because we have seen from Paul Pogba that yes, he's indeed a good player because there's a certain freedom by the way that Manchester United is playing. Well, we need to see that same freedom from Alexis Sanchez. I don't think he just forgot how to play the game. I don't think he just uh, all of a sudden became a poor player and a talent that was not useful for Manchester United. I just think, like many other Manchester United players on the Jose Mourinho, he went to die. And, <laughs> and now they're all back alive. And certainly that's the case for Alexis Sanchez. I expect him to play and play well. I'd, I'd forgotten all about Sanchez. That's yeah. crazy, isn't it? Aye. I mean, that's, that's how good a job so far Solskjaer has done. It's gone from talking about every other thing apart from the game, what we should be talking about, to we don't care who's playing or who's not playing anymore. Man United are a joy to watch. They're enjoyable to watch. You know they're going to go forward. Mm. And Rashford at last... He's, he's the one that's taken all the plaudits. Uh, with your Arsenal ways, what sort of reception will Alexis Sanchez get, Paul? Uh, look, when, when he was at Arsenal, he was fantastic. There's, you know, both sides of the ball, wherever he played, on the right, on the left, he was, he was absolutely terrific. I think he'd get a fantastic reception. It wasn't really... He's not going to have a fantastic reception, is he? He's not going to play. He's, He's going to come on. It's, it's, he'll come off the bench. He's not going to get a great reception from the Arsenal fans. Of course he's going to get. Well, if you give a good reception to Giroud, you're going to have a good reception to Sanchez. Oh, Giroud's not going to hurt you, is he? <laughs> Sanchez. Right. No, he's not. You're right. Good Sanchez boy. will get a very good reception from the Arsenal boys. Arsenal needs this, though. More than United? I think so. I think so. You look at Arsenal and they're barely, and I mean barely, hanging on to the possibility of competing for the top four. There is no Champions League for them, so mm. unless you make Europa League your priority, what else do they have to play for if you're Arsenal? Uh, what are the goals? And so if, if that's indeed the case and you accept that as your reality, then, yeah, FA Cup becomes very important to you. So I do think that Arsenal needs this more than Manchester United, who has other things that they can worry about, even though, of course, we expect them to play well. Arsenal needs this. Should we talk about some predictions then? Paul Marin. 2-1, Arsenal. Mm. And a lovely reception. Flowers, <laughs> roses, <laughs> beautiful <laughs> presents for Alexis Sanchez. All right, well, we'll wait and see. Well, we, all right, then we'll we will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go a narrow victory for Manchester United. Yeah, I'm enjoying Manchester United. Yeah? I'm on that Eight in a row? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all about Manchester United these days. 